What's that word? Like a glitch. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got my girl toddler H&M haul. I did some online shopping. There was so much that was sold out to the point where I had my cart full of things. And at first I thought it was, what's that word? Like a glitch and everything had erased from my cart. And I went to manually put everything back. There was nothing there. <laughs> so much was sold out. I do have a screenshot of what was on my list at first. So if I can find that, I will insert it so you guys could see what I was thinking about getting versus what I actually was able to get. There was a white one of these, like a nice light cream one, and I thought my oldest would take care of the cream one. It would be amazing. But um, I don't have the price right now, so I will try to pop it on screen if I can um, like check in with the app or whatever. But uh, I got them in a two to four, and I just went with pink. I figured it wouldn't get as dirty as the cream, and also she doesn't really wear pink, so I figured a pop of blush pink would be nice. I got them both in the same size. I realized two to four years old, three to four toddler. My little one's got a big head. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. If not, I can always save it for later on down the road. I've also got this sweater. Again, there are no prices, but this is a three to four T. The whole time I kept reading, I guess, two to four years, two to four years, which is the UK sizing, but I guess it's three to four T. To me, two means two. But anyway, it is just this yellow that I love. It's coming up orange on the screen, but it's not. And it says, happy nature. And it's got some pink sequins. And my oldest was in need of some new clothes because a lot of the clothes she wore last winter was like hand-me-downs from her cousins um, who are boys, but like it was neutral. It was like black and blues and grays and she used to wear that to school because I didn't mind her getting dirty. This year she isn't going to preschool. Um, she's staying home because she doesn't technically have to go, so I'm going to be trying to focus our mornings on some teaching stuff. Of course, this has nothing to do with the haul, but anyway she can wear this because I know that we're not gonna get it dirty on the playground or anything because we aren't going to the playground. But yeah, there's also this one, a little Snoopy dress. I thought it was really nice. Like I've said, um, this is a three slash four T, which is a two to four years in the UK. And it's gonna fit her perfectly. She can wear it for a while. She doesn't really have any pink in her wardrobe. So I think that'll be nice. And we can just pass it on to her sister or whatever she doesn't get through wearing because who knows if she'll wear it all. Her sister will finally have some new clothes that isn't all hand-me-downs. That's why, for example, these I bought, these are 18 months. Oh, I love this. I didn't see this feature. The fact that it has the button there is amazing. Yeah, I love that. So it's just these ripped leggings and they're in pink. It was a two pack and I think it was like $12.99 maybe. So what, that comes out to like $6.50 each and if you go to Target, they're $5. So I don't think that's a bad deal. They might've been even $14.99, which would make them $7, but $2 more than Target. And honestly, um, these aren't the thickest, but there is another pair that I'm gonna show later on, which are pretty thick. And I mean, Target leggings and the H&M leggings are all pretty good. But yeah, there's just these pink ones. She wears a lot of navy. I don't know why, I always get her a lot of navy leggings. I don't even like navy, but I do get her navy leggings. So um, she does have maybe a couple pair of black, but I thought throwing in some pink would be really nice for my little one. Oof, for some reason I felt like throwing up. Oh, maybe because it's lunch time and I haven't eaten. Whew, that did not feel good. <laughs> then we have this set. Also for my little one, it's 18 months. She loves Minnie Mouse. Don't know why, don't ask me. When she saw Minnie Mouse for the first time, she cried. Watching her on TV, she loves her. So, that's what it looks like. It's just gray. I feel like Walmart ones are great for pajamas, for being stuck in the house, and they kind of pill like after a whole season, which is not bad because I mean, they grow out of it and they're children. I don't know, I thought buying her something that it's just different quality. I can buy something for $4 from Walmart that she's gonna wear at home 
and I can buy something a little, you know, nicer. I think this whole set was $25 though, which is kind of pricey for being a set, but I mean, I did buy a sweater from Target that was like $12 or $12.99, and it was just the sweater. So this one came in a little set, and it just has Minnie Mouse on the bottom of one of the legs which is adorable and Mickey's right there. And I usually don't spend money like this on the girls. Um, like I said, Walmart and Target are like my go-to. Target for cuter stuff to go out and Walmart for like the PJs and things around the house. But yeah, H&M had a lot of really cute things and I thought we're all stuck at home. So instead of lounging around in the cheap Walmart stuff, let's walk around feeling cute and liking what we have on. So I got them a couple of cute things that I thought that they might enjoy. And the best part about it is they can feel happy when they're inside. And if we have to go out, they get to wear something cute to go out. So I've got this navy sweater. Again, it's two to four years old. So this is for my oldest and all it's got is hearts. And I love that it's front and back, not just on the front and then it's just like solid in the back. I love that it just looks like that all over. That's from the H&M Conscious collection, I guess, or Conscious line. In some of these things, I notice in this one, with this little neck detail, and this, which you guys are gonna see in a moment. But those detailing, I kept thinking of Beth. She's from YouTube. She always says, that's weird. Always says, always play dress up. So I felt like, why not let them have something fun to wear that who knows if they're gonna like it when they're older but why not have fun with the little like frilly clothes and all those nice little details but this is just a pink top with some gold glitter spots the back is solid though except for the sleeves and the neck which is kind of cool even though i'd prefer it to go all around but i can see what they were going for and then it's just ripped and it looks like that. And I love this mauve color. Like I said, she didn't have a lot of pink. She really likes blue. But we always, like last year, we did a lot of navy. We did a lot of light blue. We did yellow, we did burgundy. So I think pink is a nice little change. And then we've got a little different yellow as well. I really wish H&M would just put the pricing on so I can just tell you guys <laughs> the price right now. This is bigger than I thought it would be. This is like huge. It looks small right now that I'm holding it back here versus over here. It looks really big because this is for a 2T and I thought my little toddler would look great in this, but she doesn't fit 2T right now. So I feel like this might fit come January or February if she grows any from now to then. But look at this detail. I love that. I got her some corduroy polka dot pants. There's one back pocket and it's just a plain gray one. So they are like a dark charcoal gray. They are not black. And they've got some white polka dots, which are not cream, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I thought they were cute. Again, she wears a lot of like navy leggings. She's got a couple black ones and like one or two pairs of jeans. So I thought this would be nice, especially with anything plain. I was just feeling like, let me treat my girls to something other than just them wearing their PJs or like, their sweatsuits I don't know <laughs> but yeah I mean I still wanted it to be comfortable for them and then there's this set it says 2t again this I saw a mom do a haul and she said that the H&M boys sizes ran big so she should have sized down but that the girl sizes were on it so I figured 2t why not but I should have sized down on this set at least because this is big. I feel like this 2T can fit my three-year-old um, perfectly. So I would say they run big. Again, not a problem. They can always wear it next year. I don't mind. She could probably fit this in the spring, which is really nice. I also figured if anything didn't fit and it ran big, I could just leave it for next year, which I really like because then I don't have to do any shopping, which is amazing. It's just this blue with some like white printed flowers on top. It's got that nice detail in the front with, let's see, let's see, these two real buttons. And then it just comes in at the wrist with no biggie, just some simple navy leggings that came with it. These are actually not the best, like I feel like Target's leggings 
are thicker and better quality than the ones that came with this top. And there's these gray leggings. These leggings are warm inside. They've got little bunnies on the knees. So I thought that would be nice. Again, I told you guys, all she's got is navy and some black. So I thought something different would be fun, especially because they're into like this stage where they're dressing, well, my oldest has been dressing herself since she was two, and this year she finally got to put her socks on by herself, but she's like really into picking her own outfits ever since the end of last year. So my oldest has kind of, like the other day was the, I took a picture of her, it was the first day that she actually picked her own outfit and she just turned two in July. So that was really cute. So I figured if she had certain things like little bunny ears and stuff to call her attention then she would have like more to pick from i guess anyway my back is killing me i'm hungry and we're halfway through <laughs> so let me get through this i wish actually this is so big this con now it's too small but <laughs> it really does run big but i wish they had this in my size there were different colors of this one that I can remember because I remember it having, I don't know if it was yellow or bigger stripes, but I thought like the tinsel would have been really cute. And I was absolutely right. So we've got the light pink, the gray, this is for my oldest. It's a 5T, which she is not, but I figured I could cuff the sleeves, she could wear it with some leggings, look really cute. This textured cream right here, it's like a, it might be white or an off-white. I think it might actually be white. I can't tell. The sky is not white right now, like normal daylight. It's like hazy, so I can't tell if this is white or off-white. If anyone can, please let me know. But then it's got like this metallic rose. I don't even know if it's rose gold, but it is so pretty with the dark gray and then a darker pink. If somebody finds this in my size, medium, women's, I mean, let me know. <laughs> Although in H&M, some of their sweaters, I am a small, but please let me know. This is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could give you guys the um, price in the moment. A lot of these things were either $12.99, $14.99, $17.99, or $24, $25.99. I think that's the most I paid on um, anything for them was maybe $25, which was like the Minnie Mouse set, and I'm not sure what else. But those are basically the prices. And also like the packs of leggings and stuff for like 15 bucks, I think. This is for my oldest. It's a 4T. And it is just this plaid dress. It's got the little ruffle detail in the back, like that apron detail, and in the front, so it's got the little buttons. And this is just what it looks like. So, I think this looks fabulous. I actually like the way this pink and this red, it's like a deep red. Look on me. I don't know. If all this clothes came in my size, I mean, I'm just saying this clothes is looking real cute right now. Really cute. This is also from the H&M Conscious um, line. It's a 2T. I wanted to get this in a 4T too. I know because I got the email um, the other day. It was basically this. I'm not sure if it had the little apron ruffle detail here for my oldest, but it was a set. It was a top, the bottom, and it might have had something here. I can't remember if I find it, if I screenshotted it, or if I remember to screenshot it then I will insert it. But it was basically this, but a set for my oldest and they were sold out. But I'm constantly now, I think between yesterday and today, maybe even the day before, just getting emails saying it's back, it's back, it's back. And it's like, ugh, what, what's the point now? Like, I wanted it in the moment, the cutest thing. 2T, it is really big. Again, I saw that mom and I trusted her. And, I think it would be fair to say that in the tops, the bottoms I think will fit fine, but in the tops or sweaters, size down, 
then again every kid is different my that's the thing maybe don't size down my two-year-old is very petite don't take my word on that so don't don't size down just go with your instincts somebody said that it did fit well but the boy sizes were big i'm saying that i think the girls sizes run slightly big but both of my girls are pretty petite so i don't know um i know that some of this stuff will fit well and some of it it will fit them pretty big so we will probably have to push back till next year see like these are pants and these might fit her really well these don't have the button in the back sadly but because the waistband is so tight i feel like it'll fit her nice and snug even if it's a little long i'm guessing this was a set that came together it's a 2t and it's just brown with black polka dots and then like a very light salmon salmony pink sadly these are two different shades this is like a camel or a beige and yeah this is more like a beige and then this is more like a darker camel color i mean i could always mix them together because monochromatic and you can mix different shades and why not they're both beigey brown just wanted to point that out the leggings and the sweater are not exactly the same color this is a three to four t little ruffled sleeve uh shoulders i don't like this on the back you can kind of see that plastic behind of where they stitched you'd have to like come in here and iron this out to be able to cover that plastic but either way it's coming up really red on the camera but it is a deep burgundy type of color with just like a little floral print this was a whole pack i think it's five of them is it four of them one two three four yeah it is five of them i'm not sure how much it was i want to say it was like thirty dollars but when you divide it i mean it seems like all like thirty dollar leggings but when you divide it, it's like six dollars a piece which is not bad because like I said, the Target ones are $5. These are pretty, but the Target ones are thick and heavy duty. If you have a child, I'd say that runs around a lot. If I'm speaking lower, it's probably because I need a little bit of tea or something. And also food, feel the body. I say if you have a child that like runs around a lot or you guys are going for like walks with a breeze and you're on like a blanket to cover them or anything, something a little bit thicker right now, at least for early fall, I'd say go with the Target ones. If you want something cute, I mean, you could go with these. So we've just got, um, these are four teas, so these are for my oldest. We've got a uh, light pink, which is some hedgehogs and wildlife on it. A squirrel. I think that's supposed to be a horse, a deer. Like a really subtle peach color with just some burgundy going through it. The first one was more like a pink. The second ones are like a very, very light. You can't even tell the color. Then we just got gray navy now she has the thicker pair from target versus these light lightweight ones these are like extremely lightweight this is like transitional i'd say and then these nice darker pink ones pink brown don't know how to explain it but they are like pink brown versus like your typical blush pink not coming up on camera if i can get a truer color in one of the clips i will try to do that and we're coming into the end of the road not really there's still like 10 more things but we've just got this yellow floral one which is kind of like the burgundy one that i showed they did all kind of the same so i'll show you again this plaid dress is just a little bit thicker it feels than this regular burgundy one which is coming off red so the plaid one feels thicker than that one but this one kind of feels like the plaid one so it doesn't feel as lightweight as that burgundy one but it's basically just the same concept yellow with some flower I'm trying to get through this quickly i'm sorry if it bothers anybody this is a 2t so for my little one we've just got this again it looks really big i thought the bunnies would be really cute it is a cream color with some black and i think cream in the fall is just beautiful especially with all the colors around you if you're lucky enough to be <laughs> <laughs> where the leaves change color and they actually fall another 2t this one's kind of holy this is basically to replace she had a blue and purple one the blue one stopped fitting her and the purple one got like really stained so there's this one this is not as bright pink as it's coming off this is actually like a mauve i don't know why i said that so hard mauve i absolutely love this this is a 2t so this is for her this is actually like the smallest little sweater it's so cute solid green in the back including the sleeves and then on the front it 
it's got the little heart embellishment or embroidery i guess this is what it looks like inside so if you have a child sensitive to like things on rubbing on their skin i just suggest putting a onesie underneath or a little tank top and they should be fine i know i'm sensitive to like things rubbing on my skin um i don't think it's more of uh, being like uncomfortable like oh i don't like it rubbing it's more like a sensory thing i don't even really walk barefoot i feel sensitive to my skin if you're uncomfortable you can put, just put something light underneath it because that sweater really does seem warm this is probably the thickest thing for my little one or sorry for my oldest besides the sweater it's really like a sweater dress this top part really is a knit and then you just come on down to the regular dress portion i'm really loving this pattern i noticed they got something else in this pattern there's this one which is the like the small floral and then this one's like the big floral so they are different i think this is so cute with this like is it the peter pan necklace is that what that is either way yeah this one is for my little one it says 2t that's how big it's like hit or miss with sizes i'm noticing because i thought this was for my oldest because it's so big but it's actually a 2t so i don't know if she'll fit this one this fall but if she doesn't Oof, she's got a pretty she's got a pretty dress for next fall it's so pretty i'm telling you guys if all these things were in my size i mean they've got some really really pretty stuff this year this one's a 4t my daughter has been really been what did i just say i need food <laughs> my daughter has really been into tutus we got her one back in january i think that had hearts on it and she loved it and before that she had a pink one that had been gifted to her so i thought this black one with the stars and the moons is so perfect for fall and maybe even winter can't you guys picture this like against some pumpkins or something or some leaves like a pile of fallen leaves i love the autumn colors i don't think she even owns a black skirt so that's different last but not least this was a long video i'm gonna try to cut as much of it as possible for you guys this is from uh conscious line and it is a three to four t or two to four years and this will fit perfectly right now it's like that pink brown again it's not a true pink but it's not a it's like it's not mauve but it's not brown it's somewhere in between which i think is really nice because it's not that usual camel color you get how many times can i say this i feel like i just said this in three different ways but anyway it's just that um leopard print cheetah print feline print just another sweater that's basically all i've got little one with her hat of course and then for my oldest they're about the same size pile which is nice and i just got them a couple of new things that is all for them Whew, that was long One second, yet again, don't film while your kids are up.